This week, we told you about a church pastor and war veteran from Rusk who was detained while visiting family when he was on his way back from Mexico in the DFW airport. We were there Wednesday night as Julio Torres reunited with his family shortly after he was released from the immigration facility in Alvarado. New tonight, we're learning more about why he was detained. He spoke with CBS 19's Robert De La Garza about his experience. I don't mind fighting this battle. I don't mind how long it takes. Just let me fight this battle with my family and my friends surrounding me. Julio Torres is thankful to be back in East Texas with his family. After spending a week in an immigration facility, he was detained at the airport after flying back from Mexico, even though he has a U.S. citizenship. When I first got to ICE detention center, I contacted the ICE agents and told them I was a veteran. Torres is a combat veteran. He fought for our country in the Iraq war. One of the agents there told me that that did not matter, that I needed to stop calling myself a veteran, that I didn't have no special privileges. It's a very common case of people that uh, have served the United States in the military and they've uh, done their best. And uh, because of the immigration system, the way the rules are set up, uh, it, it affects them. Immigration attorney Gilbert Urbina points out what happened to Torres is not uncommon. For example, it's a person that if they walk out of your house, you re-inspect them or decide whether you let them back in or not. The fact that they were in your house previously doesn't guarantee that they will be able to come in. They said that some charges that I had in the past, so they said that, that those were the reasons why I was not allowed. After fighting in the war, Torres suffered from PTSD as well as addiction, but he turned his life around. He's now a pastor at the Covenant Church in Rusk, chaplain for the local jails, and volunteers at the food pantry. Those are very good qualities. Those are things that are favorable to him to show what they call good moral character. And the judges will want to see that, and they will weigh that, uh, what happened in the past with the criminal history, against what improvements the person has made and whether the person deserves to maintain or keep their residency. Despite being home with his family, Torres still doesn't know what his status is and what comes next. I mean, I'm still scared. You know, it is, uh, my daughter keeps saying, Daddy, are you home? And I say, I'm home, but I know in the back of my mind that and I don't know for how long. Torres hopes his story will help others like him. Robert De La Garza, CBS 19.